All right, pilots, welcome back. Look at what we have here. You already saw the thumbnail, but so mine came a double box like so. Here it is, right here. So it comes in this sweet package. Let me get this out here and sh show you what you get. So you gotta love the carrying case. Down underneath here, you see we've got some really nice decals. Excited for this. It's gonna be a lot of fun. This is just so just too cool. I don't think anybody else does that, do they? Correct me in the comments if they do. But um, I just wanted to show you guys how it comes because I was kind of stoked about that. So here it is right on the top. There's the wing, user manual. We got here some information, instruction manual couple batteries so again the wing on top you can see control horns will go in there if you ever put it back in the package these will be your batteries obviously you got two batteries 600 milliamp 7.4 volt so that's a 2s with the um, JSTs on them here is the transmitter Pretty smooth, feel good. Got lots of switches and things going on here. Okay, interesting. Uh, in here we have a strap for the case to hook on. Um, in here we have a bunch of goodies. So here is a mini USB cable for, looks like probably for charging this, yep. Here we have a hook and spring for the throttle if you want it to be self-centering. We do not. And here we have landing gear. Here we got some tape, plastic buckles for servos, screwdriver, and it looks like there's a really cool keychain in there. We'll get that out in a little bit and show you. So here is the balance charger comes with a charger USB to looks like um, it's a USB C USB to USB C so there's the plane this top shelf comes off there's a piece in here yet I did not grab so in here will be two propellers some of the um, rubber rubber band prop saver deals and then down here you have the plane itself and down below it looks like nothing this looks like everything else so this is pretty interesting so you got your clevises here for bracing looks like this piece here comes off to put the wing in place yeah this is pretty neat here's where your battery will go a little velcro So there's that and then that hooks into this so kind of a two-part receiver system I guess but pretty interesting okay let's see let me put the case away here and we will get started on how to assemble this all right guys so here's an overview of everything out of the packages and whatnot um, so there's two different propellers you can see one's gonna be more of a slow flyer 3d mode one's probably gonna be a little bit faster um, we'll, we'll try them both out and see how that goes. Um, I looked in the manual. Uh, one of these is a flight controller. And one of these is the receiver. So that's what's going on here. Um, so speaking of that, there is, there is a lot of, of things that this does. There's a reason it has a bunch of switches and, and whatnot. It is because according to the manual here, it has like six flight modes. Um, one here it says for uh, multi-rotor, but you got stabilized mode, gyro mode, manual mode, acrobatic mode, and vertical mode. So it sounds like, kind of looks like it'll hover for you. But anyways, we'll test all those out once we get to the field. I just want to kind of give you guys an overview of everything here and just kind of see. I mean, you got huge, huge ailerons. I have no doubt this thing is going to be a beast in the sky. So let's get her built. All right, so landing gear, you see underneath the motor mount here in the front, 
will pop into here. I'm trying to do it so you guys can see it so it's a little funky for me. But it'll go up into that mount there. There we go. Snaps right in just like so. So now it can at least sit on gear. Um, they want you to connect these, which they're obviously just going to snap in place. Snap, snap. Then this piece here comes off. That's where your wing is going to go. It's a nice snug fit, which is good. You don't want it to come apart. There we go. Get it popped out of there. It was it's clipped in pretty good. So that's out. And your wing is just going to pop right down in there. Get it lined up on the tab. The holes lined up. Squeeze her on down. Then this piece is going to go back in place. lined up here. And those holes will go down through the wing like so. This is my first time doing it guys. I don't I don't practice or fake anything here. This is real. Kind of get that puppy punched in there. Then you got on the bottom here these little clips. You'll push them in and turn them and it'll That'll lock it in. So you do that on all four. You see guys, this is one shot take. I am not editing any of this out. I am not speeding any of this up or slowing it down. Now you're gonna connect your ailerons. Get that leveled out here. Let's see, let me do check though where it says to put those in the clevises, which I don't see anything obvious in there, so I'm just going to kind of put them one hole down from the end. We'll see what it looks like and check the throws and stuff if that uh, seems about right. So there's that. Just double check these others. They all look like they're clipped on and good. I do see the rudder is on the outside. We'll see if that's enough throw for what we're going to want to do. And then we'll take the slow flyer propeller. That will go on there. We'll take these rubber bands out here. And you'll just hook that around one side, go around to the other side and clip that on. And your airplane's ready to fly. What did that take me like? Like nothing. <laughs> That's it. You've got a completed airplane just like that, guys. I can't. This is definitely in the history of the channel, probably the fastest building airplane, short of something that comes pre-built out of the box, but there's that. So, what we need to do now, let's see, let's charge it. Okay, that comes with battery on it. Very good. I'm going to take this propeller off because I um, just don't know what's going to happen. It's just the safe thing to do. We're going to plug in a battery. And see what happens. Okay, she took right off. Nope, it didn't. Okay. Cool. Just right out of the box, just like that. How about that? That's some aileron throw right there. It does look like we need to adjust the elevators probably a little bit. Oh, it might be the mode it's in. I didn't look at the way the modes work. So there's gyro off. There's gyro assisted. This one's a different mode. I, I gotta look and see what they do. I'm just putting things together and having fun. Motor's going the correct way and everything. So let me get studied up on the manual here and we'll come back with how things work. 
All right, so now that you've got it all assembled and the radio on, um, what I did, and uh, I did put these to the very outsides on the ailerons. I know when I put it together, I put it down one, but there's so much throw. I don't think you're gonna need more than that. I'm curious to see how this is gonna go. But anyways, the little included screwdriver, um, you can adjust. So there's little screws on these carbon rods. So I adjusted everything. Mine had a bunch of up elevator in it out of the box. And I don't know, you know, what or why, but um, I corrected that. And I corrected the ailerons were a little bit, they kind of had a roll one way. So I just kind of squared them up, made them flat. And uh, you know, you can adjust them here, here, make sure you tighten them up. I double checked all the rest of them. They're all good and tight. So now everything is, is perfectly square and ready to fly. All right, so on the radio here, you can see they're labeled channel seven, channel five. This one here, I think the only thing you need in the center, everything is centered. If you go down, like push it away from you, it doesn't seem to do anything, but when you pull it towards you, then it goes into like the vertical mode. So I don't know if you can see, that's pretty much gonna be hover mode. You see how sensitive that thing is on stuff, the ailerons, the elevator. I think it's just gonna straight pull up into a hover and stay there. So we will try that. I'm really curious to see how that goes. So the other mode here, I have this one up towards me, all the way towards the top, and that is no gyros. So when you go down one to the center, that is gyro mode, so that's just your just kind of your gyro on, help stabilize it, smooth out the bumps. No, it does not fly it for you. You go down, that's called stabilize mode. That's where it's gonna auto level. You can see the things doing the things. So that's gonna be, if you're a beginner, you could probably use that. If you get in trouble, you can hit that and get out of it. Um, we'll test all those things in the video. So there's really not much to do here, because it's built. The battery only goes in one place, and there's nothing else to do. So I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and stick her back in the box because everything is ready. All right, so I did put the prop on it. I gotta do a full pull, see how it feels. Oh yeah. Oh, well that wasn't very good. <laughs> now I gotta clean up a mess, but it is definitely pulling vertical, so it's gonna do it. So uh, let's uh, see, uh, see how fast I can put her back in the box. Let me unplug the battery here. Turn off the radio, just hold down the power button. So the battery just Velcros into place, pop that out, and then um, let me get set up here and we'll put it in the box. Uh, one other thing also, so here's the charger. So input, five volts, DC it says here. So this is your charger. So you're gonna plug into the balance, USB, and it has lights and modes and stuff on it, or not modes, but it has lights on it. Here's what they all do. So if you guys got questions, you can uh, pause that and read it. But um, let's see here, green, battery is fully charged when all four green LEDs are on. So there's a bunch of LEDs here, I believe is what they're gonna be. We'll find out uh, when we plug her in, but uh, I don't think it'll be too much trouble. Um, I've got so many chargers and set up for this, I'm just gonna use my good chargers and uh, that way I can kind of monitor it. But I will try that for one and let, let you guys know if I had any troubles or not. All right, so here goes my first time disassembling the airplane. So we'll get that prop out of there. These have to come loose. The little flat blade screwdriver probably make this a little bit easier because you got to pop these off. And then your ailerons have to get popped off too, right? I'm trying to do it without tools, just in case you forget to bring something to the field. But you could always go to the dollar store, get a cheap screwdriver, throw it in your bag, and then you've always got it. So anyways, now that we got that, we're gonna push and turn these all off. Okay. 
that. Now this piece here will come off. I'm taking the wing with it, but that's okay. Make sure they kind of snag because they've got them uh, little tabs on them. But there's that. Get the wing off. There's that. We'll just put that back in place because that's how it's got to go in the box. Again, this is my first time doing it, guys. Obviously, things go the slowest the first time you do it. So there's that. Um, landing gear looks like it should just pull off of there. See if I can figure out a method to the madness here. It kind of locks in these little tabs, so I think you maybe need to pull it out and push it. Well, that's good, I guess. You know your landing gear is not gonna fall apart out in the field. There we go. Someday I'll figure out a graceful way to do that, hopefully. <laughs> So then that goes in the box. And we'll put the top on. Okay. Radio goes in here. Landing gear, where'd that go? That went down in here. You can put your prop in there anywhere. Wing goes into here. Don't forget your little bits. You can chuck them in there however you want. But anyway, there it is in the box. Really pretty easy. Just got to figure out a little trick for that landing gear and we'll let you know. So like, comment, subscribe. Check out the links down below in the description. And next time you see us, we'll be at the field flying it. Appreciate you guys watching this. Let's go have some fun. John VH RC out.